Hello everybody, this is TN Couponer here. I thought I'd show you this article to let all the parents know how your kids can be sneaky on their smartphones. Especially with messaging apps and all that. I'll let you watch this and you'll see the point. For accurate local forecast, you can count on. Hope you guys can hear it. Well, parents try to keep their kids safe and away from harmful online content, but it's more difficult than ever when kids have a smartphone with them every minute of the day. Our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker takes a look at some tricks kids use to do what they're not supposed to be doing. Apple and Google have some pretty good parental controls on their smartphones that allow parents to monitor what their kids are doing on their phones. However, kids know some secrets. These secrets they hope you don't find out about. They don't use traditional text messaging like we do. They use apps such as Snapchat, WhatsApp, WeChat, and any of the dozens of other messaging apps their friends use. These apps allow for encrypted messages that disappear after a few minutes or after they're read. So even if you look, you won't see anything. They may not even mean messaging apps, per se. Gaming apps, Discord, Twitch, and others give users the ability to send messages and images. Checking for these apps can be difficult. If someone wants to hide apps from their smartphone, it's easy to do now. On iPhones, parents can scroll past the home screens to see a listing of apps loaded on the phone or tap their account in the App Store, then purchase to see everything that's been downloaded onto the phone. Kids can hide chats, messages, images, and videos inside hidden locker apps. These are often disguised as music or calculator apps. They require a secret code to open them. But they also have a secondary or dummy secret code. So if parents demand to see inside the locker, kids can give them the dummy code to open a locker with images they don't mind them seeing. Google Docs can also be used to send and share private messages and lock them up so no one else can find them. The best advice for parents of children, talk with them. Let them know what your expectations are and some of the dangers that are on these devices. And if you're a parent of a child 12 years old and younger, Ask yourself, do they really need a smartphone, a computer in their hands all day? That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. Well, there is an effort in schools to encourage parents to wait until their child is in the eighth grade before giving them a smartphone. So ahead here on... All right, guys, I had to share that information with you all. This way, the parents can actually counteract this. It's kind of strange on how kids can be so sneaky with technology these days. Ah, this is 10 Couponer. Hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, do all that crazy stuff. Until the next video, bye everybody.